Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a brand new 2021 model Cimarron Northstar 4 Horse Gooseneck. Start up here under the front, under the neck of this trailer. Right here you got all your equipment up front. Stock number 5N200718. You notice this is kind of a different B&W coupler than you normally see on most trailers. Cimarron and B&W kind of partnered on this hitch right here. Made it specifically for these Cimarrons. Behind your hitch right there, you do have just your, you know, your basic safety chains. You do have your breakaway brake cable and stuff like that. You notice the cool thing I like to start doing on these Cimarrons if he follows this cord back here. You never find a good place to hang your cords normally on a trailer. They're either hanging in the dirt or they're wrapped up getting tangled. They did put this cord latch right here. It works pretty simple. You can just put your cord right in the hole. That way it's not dragging in the dirt or hanging there. This trailer is equipped with just a normal manual jack. You can upgrade it to a hydraulic jack if you want. Or if you have a trailer you want to put a hydraulic jack on, we can do that for you as well. You do have a spare tire that also has the matched aluminum rim. It matches the rest of the tires. That way if you do swap a tire, you're not looking, you know, off canter the rest of your trailer. Up top, you will notice there is a big bus window in the nose. I like putting big bus windows up there just so if you're staying in this trailer, you have a lot more airflow, a lot more light, whatever you need in that trailer. Coming down the side of this trailer, you'll notice that this is an extra large door. The reason we do this door extra large because the way the saddle rack is going to set up in here, it's going to give you a lot of that extra room to grab your saddles and walk out that door without having, you know, turn your body or maybe trip falling out of there just because the door is too small to get you and your saddle and your equipment out. The door is equipped with the brush box. I like having brush boxes in many places you can put them on trailers. That way you can, you know, you can fit your fly spray in here. You can fit your show sheen in here, your brushes and everything like that, and you don't have stuff scattered everywhere. We did upgrade this trailer. We like putting these steps pretty much on all our trailers because they're pretty simple to use. They're on a gas piston. You know, it makes that big step up in that trailer a lot easier with those steps. It's a real simple upgrade we can do to these trailers. And it just adds a lot of more convenience for you guys. Coming up in this trailer, first thing you'll notice is the complete floor, wall, everything is carpeted in this trailer. We like carpet and everything. It just, you know, it keeps dust down a little bit. If you have rubber mats everywhere, your dust is sticking places, sticking everywhere. So the whole back wall is carpeted here behind your bridle hooks. This kind of keeps your aluminum from getting scratched up. Keeps you from having to clean as much. This is a water grade carpet too as well. So if the water gets on this carpet or if you even want to clean with water, it won't soak in as much as it'll just sit on top and let you clean really easy. You'll notice this trailer is equipped with a 25 gallon water tank. Like having water going down the road, you don't have to ever stop and try to find a gas station that'll let you use a hydrant to water your horses. Another thing I want to point out while we're in the water tank area is you'll notice there is mounts on the floor and both the ceiling. And what those mounts do is it lets you move your uh, saddle rack from the back of the trailer to the front of the trailer. So if you wanted to, you know, load ATVs in the back but you still want to take your saddles with you if you were taking a horse or two, you can load a horse in the front of the trailer, an ATV in the back, and then have your saddles and everything up here. So again, just making it more convenient and a lot more versatile for you guys. We don't want you to have to buy two different trailers, an ATV trailer and a horse trailer, so maybe you can get everything done in one with this one. Up above me, above the door, we upgraded all the lights in this trailer to an upgraded OptiBright LED light. These lights are super bright. They don't use a lot of power. I mean, they're great lights for these trailers. Up above me, this roof is framed for an AC. We do these on all our new Cimarron's nowadays because, like I said, they have the big windows. They're set up comfy. They're set up nice to where if you did want to put a bed in here, you could. And it's real easy for us after the fact to put an AC in here if you guys did want that. Down below, fully carpeted again, is your 50-50 split boot box. Here, I'll open them. You can take a look in here. I like these boot boxes. You know, they're handy again, just keeping your stuff organized and out of the way. I mean, I know from experience, I know a lot of you guys know from experience that going down the road, you, you, kinda, you can have a lot of stuff going down the road, you know, rodeoing or showing whatever you're doing. This just kind of helps you keep your stuff out of the way, 
I know I've been places where I've tripped and fell over blankets or saddles or bridles sitting on the floor. And we just try to give you guys as much storage and as much you know convenience and safety features as we can in this trailer. Up top, you do have your shelf with the clothes rod. Again, this trailer is not set up as a living quarters, but you can go somewhere and you know you can stay in this trailer. You have a place to hang clothes. You have a place to you know hang your jeans up, put your hat, stuff like that. Again, just we're trying to give you the best setup you can do for maybe anything you want to do with this trailer in the future. Coming down the side of this trailer again, just those extra large bus windows on these trailers, just giving you your horses more airflow. It's the same concept as you sleeping up there. The bigger the window, the more cold air that's going to come in through this trailer going down the road and keep your horses cooled off. You will have a four tie rings, one for each horse, both on this side and the other side. I've seen some trailers that they'll put their tie rings and they'll miss a support. They just don't have the quality control that Cimarron does. So all these tie rings, they will hit a main support on this trailer. So you're not flexing out your extrusions. You're not ruining this trailer going down the road. You can have a horse pull back and they will break the halter before they rip those off of there. Looking down low, you do have again all your aluminum wheels. These are two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. You'll notice as he's looking at these wheels, there is a green tab. Cimron, they now fill all their wheels with nitrogen. And what that does is on cold nights and hot days, you get a tendency in most of your tires, you guys have probably noticed it in your vehicles and stuff like that if you have the tire pressure sensors. And when you wake up early in the morning, they're probably reading 10 pounds lower than they will be that afternoon. And what putting nitrogen in these tires does, it just kind of allows that PSI to kind of stay the same going down the road. The cool thing is if you do, you know, get a flat or have a blowout, you can fill these with just standard air, no problem. Or you can take it to a dealer and have them fill them back up with nitrogen as well. Do you have a 16 inch awning light above this, you know, this tail side of your trailer? That way if you're saddling out here with your horses or you just need some extra light going down the road, you can click that LED light on and see your horses, see your tack, see whatever you're doing outside. It's making it safer and more convenient for you all the time. Another thing I want to point out, kind of before we jump back here, open this a little bit. There is a bus window on the rear of this trailer as well. The thing I like doing about that is the way the air vents are set up on the roof. By putting this bus window on your back door, it's going to pull all the air in through them top vents on your roof, and it's going to pull it out this back window. That way it's just cool air going over your horses and out the back for sitting in there, stirring up dust and stuff like that. It gives it, gives it a smooth channel to run through this trailer. Coming around the back, the first thing I think everybody notices about Cimarron trailers is you see that contrast between the black and that white. And what that is, it just means that everywhere you see black, it is about a quarter inch thick kick mat. And I've seen some trailers will have like just a hard plastic or like a hard almost rhino lining. But having this actual quarter inch kick mat, it's soft rubber. If your horse ain't gonna get hurt as easy, if they do kick it, it's not gonna ding up and dent as easy. It's gonna absorb a lot of that impact. I love that Cimarron puts it all over these trailers. You will notice it is a 60-40 split back door with that collapsible rear tax. Like I was talking earlier, if you did want to put ATVs in here, it's real easy to get this saddle rack out of here and fold this over to the wall to jump ATVs in there or whatever you need to do. And then that can go to those posts in the front that I showed you guys earlier. So this is a four post saddle rack with four blanket racks. We do have some more bridle hooks back here. Again, kick matted behind them. That way your bridles aren't scratching up your trailer, stuff like that. You have an eight inch awning light back here as a, you can use as a load light. So when you're loading horses, they can see their step in a lot easier. They can see their step out a lot easier. It's just a re really great setup. You know, it keeps your horses safe. It keeps you safe if you're loading your horses, which is especially important. The floor of this trailer, it is the industry's best floor. The reason I say that is because this floor is built on four inch centers. Most trailers you see, they're on five inch centers or six inch centers. Cimarron they does it on four inch centers. So if you think about a horse's foot, the way a horseshoe is shaped on a foot, no matter where a horse is standing on this floor, they're gonna be able to hit one of those posts on a four inch center. Unless you got like a little three foot pony or something like that. But then you're not too worried about the weight. But it is the industry's best floor, safer for your horse, safer for you going down the road. Before I open these up, I want to show them the latch here. Latch here, it is a plastic latch, it's real simple to use. 
mean, it makes loading horses easier. You can just slam these gates shut. It's quieter going down the road. You'll notice I can jerk on this and it makes almost no sound. The reason they do plastic there versus another metal latch is because metal on plastic will wear a lot better than metal on metal wheel. If you have metal and metal grinding against each other, it'll wear down over time. And this will again, it'll get louder and louder and louder. And then eventually you have to replace that latch. But this plastic's going to wear a lot better than that metal. It'll be, again, it's super quiet for your horses going down the road, just making it comfortable for your horses. And again, you'll notice there's kick matting all over this trailer. Safer for you, safer for the horses. That's what we like to do. Up top of this trailer, it's like I was talking about that rear window. You open all these vents to pull air in. You open the window to pull air out. You have four vents in here. I mean, you can get so much air rolling through this trailer. Your horses can be super cool in the summers. And then in the winters, you can close these all up and make it super warm for your horse in here if it's going to be like super cold running down the road, snow and stuff like that. You can close all the windows up. I mean, you can really control temperature. If you're in the mid somewhere, you don't need all your windows open, you can close your windows, open your air vents, or you can open your bus windows, close everything else. You can really keep it tempered in here for your horses. The cool thing about Cimarron is they do insulate all their roofs. By insulating the roofs, what it does is it does keep it about four to seven to degrees cooler in here compared to just an all aluminum roof or a steel roof. And that's just great because horses, they tend to overheat pretty easily. Um, so keeping them in here, insulated roof, lots of air. Another thing that's insulated roof, we live in Colorado, we get lots of hail here. Um, we do hail damage some trailers. Cool thing about Cimarron's is they will probably be the last trailer we ever hail damage just because with that insulation, the way it's built, this can take a substantial amount of hail before you notice it. We've had trailers through here where we've gotten some light hail storms and they've been dented up and the Cimarron, you can't even tell we got hail through here. So it is a well-built trailer. It'll last you guys a long time without getting damaged up. Another thing I want to point out in this horse compartment is these jail bars over these bus windows. I like putting jail bars over bus windows. Cimarron does a good job. The reason they do that is because sometimes you can get, you know, you can get a 17-hand horse in here. Their tail head's going to be right at that window. And if they back up and they're backing up around, they can knock screens out, knock windows out. And what those jail bars do is just kind of keep your horse from, you know, that adds that extra layer of protection from your horse, you know, maybe poking a tail head through that window and knocking your windows out to where you have to replace them. Okay, before you jump out. All these stalls are D-ring equipped, so you can hang actual hay buckets here versus hanging bags from the ceiling. This makes it a lot easier. I like hanging hay bags from the ceiling, but they have a tendency to no matter how tight you tie them, they can go to the floor, and then your horse can step in them, make a mess, maybe get tangled up going down the road. So I like putting D-rings in here. It gives people just that option, you know, to upgrade to those bucket hay bags and keep your hay all in one place and keep your hay off the ground. That way your horse is not trying to eat off the ground and they're not kind of maybe have that opportunity to get tangled or get their head caught or fall down going down the road. Let's see here. But all stalls will have your two tie rings there. You can tie your horses going down the road if you want to do that. Another thing I want to show is this cool butt bar feature we started doing. Most of the time, you either have a strap you latch or you know a chain you latch right here and it can be kind of tough but I'll show you how quick this is. You can pull it up and you just drop it in the hole. It's real simple, it's real strong and it's, I mean it kind of self latches in there. It's really cool, I can show you guys how that works again close up. It's real, I mean it's real simple to use. The quicker you can do it, it just saves that time from your horse kind of getting antsy in there maybe running into you or hooking a leg behind that bar coming out of the trailer. Another thing I want to point out is you'll notice just how big these bus windows are back here. I always talk about airflow. I just think airflow is super important going down the road. You want to keep your horses cool or warm, but mostly cool. You're running down the road to rodeos or shows most of the time in the summertime. So the more options you have to keep your horse cooler, the better. So we have these huge drop down windows. If they're not drop down, you can run the bus windows in them as well. Um, Again, just a lot more options to keep your horse cool. Another thing I like about these windows is you can run with them latched going down the road like this. They're meant to go down the road like this. But these doors are simple to use. They're heavy. They latch easy. You can run them all one-handed. And if you want, the thing I always like, is I like to tie my horses going down the rodeos. Sometimes, you know, you guys might not want to tie them. You just throw the bridle over their back or whatever. But if they're tied in here, it's real easy to drop that main jail gate window and climb up here 
and tie them or untie them. That way you're not in there as long as you need to be with them horses. I know some horses can be a pain going down the road and they don't like loading and they, you know, they throw a fit and it just keeps it safer for you if you can just load them, come out here and tie them and untie them. That way you're not in there with them while they're trying to back out or load. Here, I'll put that back up. Trailer does have an escape door. I like having escape doors on trailers. Again, it makes it safer for your horse, but it also it adds a lot of versatility to this versatility to this trailer. You can load hay here, you can load feed here. Again, you're keeping it, you know, you're keeping it more so away from your horses than anything else. There is a big stud divider in there. What that stud divider does, you can see it a little better from this side than the inside, is if you did want to load hay or feed in here, you can see that there's no way it can get underneath your horses. It kind of keeps everything isolated from your horses. It gives you the option to haul more stuff going down the road, going to these shows or rodeos. And again, just keeping hay from simplest things like keeping hay or buckets from rolling underneath your horses while you're going down the road can make a big difference. This escape door also has a drop down window on it. So when you are rolling down the road, whatever horse is in that front stall can also utilize that same style. Here, let me shut this up can also utilize that same style drop window. It's a little smaller just because it's a smaller door on your escape doors. We have to keep that window a little smaller to fit that door. But again, it, w it seemed to us like it'd be dumb to put all these drop windows in here and not put one in your front stall. If you do want uh, covers for these jail bars, we can do like a netted cover on all these like you see on some trailers. Or if you have a trailer at home, whether it be a Cimarron or whatever you have, we can always order you the jail bar covers for your trailer as well. Then again, you got that big bus window up front of this trailer, just more air for you. I mean, I love Cimarron. I pull a Cimarron going to rodeos. We've had other trailers, but it seems like Cimarron with their heavy duty windows, you won't have as much problem with your windows. You'll have more air for your horses. It's just. They're set up to really be used and used well. I mean, they're a great little trailer. I want to touch again on the stock number. If you guys are interested in this trailer, again, it's a 2021 Cimarron Northstar, four horse gooseneck. Stock number 5N200718. Yeah, if you want to come take a look at this trailer, or take a look at any of our other trailers, we're getting towards the new year, so we are getting a bunch of 2021s rolling in, you know, every week for the next few months and stuff like that. We got new trailers coming in. So if you've been here in the past and you haven't seen what you wanted or there's been something you want to tweak or something like that, go ahead and give us a call. We might have it coming in. You could be the first person to look at it. Or if you just want to talk about this trailer and stuff you want to do to your trailer, you can go ahead and give me a call at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.